everyone, it's Mike. I'm going to keep going on my new, uh, my onboarding breakdown series where I look at products and new user, new user onboarding for those products. I kind of capture moments of delight or friction, um, talk through those as part of kind of how they were designed or, or what the logic was, give that feedback to the teams who built them, and then also just make it available as a resource to product teams who are, are working on onboarding. And you get a lot of different references and ideas when you look across different types of products. So today we're gonna to look at Arc, which is a new browser that's come out from a company called The Browser Company. Uh, I've already got this installed. The window that pops up here is kind of a fixed size. They don't wanna let me change the size of it. That's okay. We're just gonna go the, through the process and see um, what it's like. So I set up my account. 78% of people import from their existing browser or X browser too. Um, we can import from Chrome. It's got my different profiles. So let's just do, let's just do my personal ones for now. Definitely use Chrome safe storage, okay. So that means it's actually gonna get the information I want it to out of here. You're gonna say always allow? No? What is going on here? Okay, so I'm getting the password right, which is making me type it in 20 times. Okay, definitely Google Calendar. Ooh, this is, this happened on the Sidekick browser one too, where the color and active states were a little confusing. Um, I don't use Figma in browser. I don't use Spotify in browser. We'll just start with those. Oh boy, let's not do bookmarks. I don't really use bookmarks anymore. I use a tab manager. Greenish. What's this slider? Oh, that's across the whole spectrum. What's this? Is warmth? Oh, it's texture. Some kind of texture control. This is neat, I guess. Okay, that's doing something too. And then, I don't know what plus or minus. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right. Color. I don't know. I don't know if this is what I want overall, but we're gonna go with it. It's interesting that they did all those things, but also what if I just wanted to choose a specific shade of that green? I'm not sure if I missed it. Oh, we can do multiple colors. Look at this. And it keeps them in relation to each other to keep a gradient that's usable. And how do I change this one? To... Nope. Why? This is a very confusing, like it's a very fun experience, I'll say. Maybe they're doing this for contrast purposes. But um, <laughs> I'm gonna allow ads because I work in the ad space. This is really nice micro copy. Uh, I get a kick out of that. Um, still exploring my options for now. Here's your art card. Show it off to the world, keep it to yourself. You're now ready to experience your upgraded internet. What can I do with this card? Oof. Maybe this is because I'm running Chrome in the background too, but it feels like it's going... Whatever that was meant to do. Let's get started with the browser. I don't know if that was a share or download. Pin tabs to save for later. Okay. How do I pin them? 
My face in the way. No? Okay. I'm gonna put my face over here maybe. Pin tabs to save for later. You click on it and move it into the browser. Okay. So I can do like a split screen browser type thing, which is actually super helpful. Okay, that's where I was on. I thought I was still on this pin tabs one. Which you can just move into folders up here. Because I have like Arc Basics folder. I could do other folders if I want and more tabs if I want. So I have vertical tab browsing, which is kind of cool. Spaces. Space. Workspace. Oh, this thing again. All right, let's just go with that this time. Create space. So is this now, so it has my apps. It's this one. So there's my original one. Okay, so these are spaces down here. And spaces, I believe, let me see here. So if I go to Gmail, okay. And it's gonna remember which ones I'm logged into. I don't know if I go to a different space and I go here, maybe I can switch to the one that I'm in. I don't remember my password off the top of my head, but I think I can set each space so that I'm logged into different accounts, which is cool. Let's go back to this. Open your first tab. And let's go to Arc Resources. That's in that folder. So hey, it keeps me from opening multiple tabs if I already have them open or available in here, which is kind of nice because I still do that even with my tab browser or tab manager today. So that's pretty cool. Um, getting set up, tips for organizing, distinct browsing areas, which are called spaces. Okay, we kind of got a bit of that already. So I do like how they're letting me, they're giving me a learning space by default, but then also letting me set up whatever else I want in the browser, depending on how much I want to play versus um, how much I want to dive in. And so I've got a tab or, so you can save a tab slash dual tabs, like a split screen setup. So if I was reading one thing and making notes, or if I was working on a doc and looking at research at the same time, which is cool. I don't know if I'm logged in. Swift superpowers. Okay, follow. So it logged me into Twitter, which is cool. And then, except for it did let me open getting started down here, unless that's just the default tab. No, or it's maybe the one I chose. I don't remember. So let's go back to Arc Resources. Then how would I go? Tips for organizing all collections. Let's say shortcuts and commands. So I had to find this. They didn't force it down my throat, um, but it's in here, which is kind of cool. And I'm already up in browsing, so technically new user onboarding is done. They showed me like four things and they let me play around, which is nice. And I'm curious, so I'm gonna keep playing around. Ooh, customize keyboard shortcuts. Customizing them, pin, unpin, prefer websites. So I have a feeling there's a ton of features in here that I can dive into. Um, Let's see, there is one I wanted to show, if I can find it. Command bar, ooh, okay. And this is definitely what I wanted. Command T to move even faster. So I might even say try for a week just to get out. Figma, what if I say like, so it's gonna read my history. Okay, so what's this? 
So this is like a focus tab or a favorites, which is kind of neat too. Um, I'll have to play around with this a bit more. But if I go back to my original here, oh, you know what I missed on that command bar? Wait, see this says actions versus search. What are command bar actions? So in addition to creating new tabs in the command bar, you can type in common actions, take an arc, pin a tab, split view, entering tab. So if I hit command T and I hit tab, hey, look, it switched. Interesting. Okay, so I can do some things in here. I thought I saw JavaScript console. That'd be neat for debugging. Look at that. That's kind of neat. Okay, so overall, and I guess I'd have to dig into more apps and things like that up here, but it's organized pretty nicely. Um, I would say the onboarding was easy and the browser does what a browser should, but it lets you kind of explore what all it can do. And there's probably a trade off there. It'd be nice if they showed some of those magic moments a little bit sooner, but overall I was pretty happy with that experience. I'm going to start using this more and see what I think.